so so what's going on here so this is a, 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 a first year fine art practice project at the Rhodes University these are first year students this is their very first project uh, we we looking at mural art and street art mm-hmm. um, each student we kind of divided our wall into different segments and each student got a segment we spent two weeks drawing uh, so what, okay what's this segment over with the ladders with the, the big ladders what's that what's that segment called so they, there's different they, they all they're mostly indigenous plants from ah, the eastern cape okay of course so each plant has has, has is significant in its own way but it's kind of more of a, of, of a technical project mm. Where they kind of becoming familiar, they're getting experience with working in the public space, and what does it mean to work in the public space? Uh, we also did a lot of drawing at the beginning part of the project. So, so these plants are the exposed. Uh, let me put it this way: let me. Yeah. I'm a, this is sort of complicated. Yeah. But you know, art students when they first start, you're supposed. To, I'm not saying this what happens, yeah. but you're supposed to say. So you know, you so say you have a, a model, right? And the model yeah. says next to a skeleton. Yeah. So you draw the you draw the skeleton, the bones. Then the model, you know, so you you learn how you learn like, for instance, the hand is the same size as the face. Yeah. You know, there's certain things you learn by just doing that. Yeah. So my, I guess my question is, is this similar to that in terms of like they, you know, uh, they they're drawing they. So I guess uh, we our first drawing exercise was actually to go into the botanic gardens oh, and to okay. draw directly from life from the plants that were there in the botanic garden. So we're teaching them to observe the world in a critical way. And to learn to translate what they're seeing in the world onto their page or onto their wall, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, but we just, yeah, I guess we chose the the plant theme because of the plants that you can see at the base of the of the of the wall. Oh. There's, there's going to be a whole sort of a garden at the base of the wall, so mm-hmm. we're trying to make our mural site specific in a way. It relates oh. directly to the site. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Might, might I ask? Yeah. So who came up with this? Now I'm going to throw this out there. Yeah. Who came up with this brilliant idea? <laughs> I guess I, 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 I came up with the, with the theme for this mural. Uh-huh. Usually when I do a mural workshop, I actually get the students to develop their own theme. Mm. But because it was their very first project and then first year, we said, okay, let's give them the theme and just to get the ball rolling and break the ice. And it's also, it's also a collaborative project, so they're also becoming uh, strong as a group. They, you know, sometimes they have to hold the ladder. It's a team building project as ah, well, you know. Okay. They're all collaborating together. They have to communicate with each other and negotiate with each other yeah. in terms of uh, holding the ladder or, you know, moving the materials backwards and forwards. So okay. I, well, I don't want to keep it. No, are you camera shy? Can I I'm not camera shy. Okay, no, great. I love so, the camera. Yeah. I'm, I'm a, I'm a <laughs> Yeah, but I don't want you I'm to be. Also, uh, <laughs> so, so just tell us, tell yeah. us, tell us your name and how long you've been hanging out with, uh, yeah. with, with, with what? So my name is Muk Lion. I'm a street artist and a mural artist. I'm actually originally uh, most of my work is in Durban. Been here in Makanda since 2020, mm. and I'm just here with the first year students just for this three week project. So I'm not I'm not a permanent staff at the fine art department. It's just for this short project. Okay. Yeah. Besides that, I'm just doing murals and mural workshops and things like that. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. So, but well, how how did they, they discovered you because of how did they? Discover? Uh, I think they discovered me when I'd done some murals in town actually. Um, and then last year I was uh, I worked as a course coordinator with the first year students, mm-hmm. and I did some street art sort of projects with them. We were actually doing posters last year. Mm-hmm. And well, then this year we kind of leveled up and we now we're doing actual mural art where we're painting straight on the wall. Okay, one last question because I have to ask this is one of those stock, stock questions. Yeah. Well, well you, you seem accomplished here, so how did you start your accomplishments? <laughs> how did you, where did you start? I, mean, I started as a teenager, like vandalizing, uh, like a rebellious teenager, you know, running mm. around at night tagging mm. and vandalizing mm. the neighborhoods that I, that I lived in. In Durban? In Durban. Mm-hmm. And then gradually it, uh, I developed and I started, you know, uh, getting more interested in fine art. And then, I, and then I started doing street art and mural art. And I studied in Durban. I did study fi- fine art in Durban. Uh, but yeah, I've been doing mural art and street art for a long time. 